Today, Kevin and I are going to see the Avengers. Is it just called the Avengers or is there more to it? The Avengers, the newest one. <laughs> um, we are over at Regal in Lexington. And once again, the reason that we don't go in our hometown is because they don't open until much later in the day. One yeah, one o'clock in the afternoon. Whereas we can go here and get in a night early. And here's what's on right now. Pitch perfect and tomorrow land doesn't start till a few until next week. Yeah. Avengers Mad Max is out. Hot Pursuit. Fast and Furious 7, which we've never seen any of those, have we? I've seen the first one. So here we are. So here's the Avengers sign. Age of Ultron, yeah, that's what it's called. And this is for Inside Out, which that's that's cute. Yeah. Oh, that's the one where they're, they're in the, the moods. The, the brain, yeah. Yeah, we want to see that. And then here's Jurassic World. And here's a look around, just a look around the inside. And are we going to the bathroom? Yeah, we're going to the bathroom. To attack 5,000 Mexican veterans supported by artillery. You do have the element of surprise. Mm. I need a volunteer to infiltrate. Okay, we just got out of the movie and we were talking about the, the seats. Um, we uh, were reclined the whole time, and I will insert a picture of Kevin um, in here because I took a picture of him. And we've never been in a, uh, we've, we always like this theater because it's been stadium seating since they built it, but we've never been to one with reclining seats. And so it was different. It was nice. Um, I'm sorry about Bumpy uh, Bargain Lot. Um, it was nice. I think that if I had set up more and Kevin said the same, same thing, way. that my shoulder wouldn't have started hurting, but I didn't want to, I didn't want, I was afraid to move around too much it's weird because you had to reserve your seats so you couldn't just walk in the theater does that mean you'll never be able to walk in anymore and just walk know. in because when we got there and Kevin told them two for the Avengers uh, they said that what did, how did he reserve say seats. Which yeah, seats do you want? yeah which seats do you want and a screen came up in front of you and they wanted you to point um, to which seats you wanted and because a lot of them had already been reserved uh, online or when they bought their tickets. So it was very different to, you know, we had to know where we were sitting before we walked in. And um, I guess that's good for them too, though, because I never saw anybody come in and check the theater. No. But if they were to come in and check, then they would have been able to see that, you know, people, more people were there than weren't supposed to be, or than were supposed to be, or whatever. I don't know, but anyway, it was just different having to reserve your seat before you went in, but, um... My other complaint was the lights for the buttons to raise your seat up and down. They were so bright. I it, didn't like that well, either. You might as well had your cell phone turned on. Oh, ball. what he's talking about, on the side of the seat, there was a button. It, it was about this big. And it made the seat go up, uh, raise your, raise your up seat or, up. Yeah. I had, I put my purse in front yeah. of it. It was so bright. When the, yeah, ridiculous. when the lights dimmed, it was this blue light. And if I hadn't covered it with my purse, it would have been right in my eye. Yeah, it's very distracting. Yeah, it's very distracting. I hoped that it was, would dim and it didn't I know, dim. it never did. So, what did you think about the movie? The movie was really good. It movie was very was action -y and the story was good. Very, very, very action -y from start to, uh, to finish there was there was action throughout the whole thing and then you need to watch through the credits um, at, the very end. at the very very end there's something very a hint for something in the future so just know that to watch towards the end so anyway we are at big lots now and because um i have been told by eric and type one that i need to look for a couple things so we're going to go in here and look for those things and see what we find Okay, Kevin and I just reviewed these, and we loved them. They were so good. Really? And they have different ones. Who's your favorite? 
I think you ought to get that. Get $3. those and then get the, the ones at the bottom. Yeah, because we haven't had them. And they have all kinds of the wafer. They have. These are like a dark. These are dark chocolate. Oh, they are dark chocolate. These are good if you want. Not if you're not going to like them. I won't eat the dark chocolate. If you won't eat the dark chocolate, then we won't get them. We'll just get the other ones. That's okay. We can get another bag of the blue. Oh, do you want another bag of those? These are fruit. I know. I wonder if they're Wild good. berry cream filling. I'd be willing to try them. And this is lemon. I know. That's what I was showing. Uh, I'd be willing to try them. Oh, it's hazelnut? Yeah, hazelnut. Cocoa cream. And vanilla. The big okay. box. Okay, we just reviewed these, and they have a big box of them here. Yeah, they're at a dollar. Big Lots. They're only a dollar for that big box. Someone was just asking me too about um, candy cigarettes, and they still sell the candy cigarettes. I don't have a problem with it because I know it's candy. Um, yes, that's somebody tell me to pick those up. Yeah, you can get them by type one. Tell me to pick those up. And they have Clark bars. They have they have all kinds of things. But they do have the chuckles that we only found in um, Cracker Barrel. And I can't tell how much they are here. Wow. Oh, they have those chips. Those are the ones that we found in. Uh, those are the ones that we found in Party. Uh, not Party City. What was it called? The Liquor Barn. Uh, they didn't have those. Cinnabon. So we're going in Target and I'm going to end up having a Big Lots haul, which I didn't think I would. Um, but we ended up spending like $42 in there. It was ridiculous. Um, they had all kinds of stuff. And if we ever want to try other wafer cookies, we'll have to go back in there to look for more because um, they just have a ton to choose from. Okay, this is a Hershey's dual single serve ice cream machine. Kevin, I thought that was pretty cool. And they have the cups and the spoons and the mix. And the milkshake machine. And they have a milkshake machine too, which would make an awesome gift. And something's here. Is that the same thing? Uh, yeah, ice cream soft, machine. No, that's a soft serve. Soft ice serve ice cream. Different. So that machine is different, but they don't have it. Yeah. So that's cool. And this is vanilla, and then they have chocolate. Oh, they have it over there? No, uh, maybe not. No, it's the same thing. Same thing? Yeah. I thought they had one behind me. We have a big squirrel in the backyard. I wish you could get Chapel, because he would... You know what I found today? In the dining room floor? A, a dead bumblebee. Now, you tell <laughs> me tell me how that got in and, and died in the dining room. That's weird, because remember I told you I had that one in the house when you weren't in town mm -hmm. and caught it? I wonder if it was the same stupid one. Yeah, there's a bird over here now. A blue jay just flew up on the uh, just flew off. I wish we could get Jack. They found I something. Don't, I don't know where he's at. I don't know what he's eating. I don't know. Seeds that fall out from somewhere. Hold on. Okay. Uh-uh. Well, he's right. Yeah, pick him up and show him. See what he does. <laughs> yeah, he'll think this is like a baby kitten. Oh, oh the, the tail. tail. The tail started flicking. Yeah, look at that. Oh, if you move that, here, that squirrel's going to hear that. He's kind of, is he like him? Huh? He was behind what we can't see now. I was inside making my coffee and I spotted my rose bushes and they are in full bloom. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's actually hanging over the sidewalk. You can see that we'll have to walk around that. I thought I had trimmed it up well enough, but I guess not. That is I mean, so full. 
That is much fuller than it was last year. I guess where I trimmed it. And they look, they look beautiful. They really do. And of course I had to remove one last year because it was completely dead. It was in between these two bushes. That's okay though. Um, this one has like red and light pink on it. Those are so pretty. I'm trying not to walk in the grass too much because it was raining earlier and I don't want to get my shoes wet. And uh, don't want to step in Guido's mess either. But those, I had to come out and look at those because they're just so pretty. I'm, it's not by my handiwork, trust me. That's all God's handiwork. Because I don't do anything to them. I don't use special soil. I don't feed them. I don't do the Martha Stewart and check the pH balance of the soil or whatever it is. I don't do any of that stuff. So this is just them being healthy, I guess. Today I've been really busy. Um, making videos i'm trying to um i have a lot on the computer so i'm trying to uh, get all of those uploaded and uh, you know my biggest fear is that something will happen to the computer and i'll lose everything i i know um i watch another vlogger and several times uh you wouldn't hear from her for a month and she would come back and she'd say, my computer crashed and I lost everything. Lost all the videos I had made, all the vlog or food prep or grocery haul, whatever, just lost it. And you didn't hear from her. I'm sure she was depressed. I would, I, that probably sounds funny to you all, but I would be very, I would be devastated um, if I lost a bunch of videos and it, you know, and uh, I keep pictures and everything. I try to back them up, but I'm not great at backing everything up, keeping up with that. So, um, but anyway, um, so I tried to get the videos off, but I bet you I have a lot, a lot. So yes, I'm spying on the neighbors again. Um, if you go back to my last vlog, you can see what their front door looked like before. And all day today, they've been getting, looks like they're getting a new front door. I mean, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I loved their old front door. It was, um, it was two glass panels and it had like single, uh, like little panes like little blocks in it. If you look at the last vlog, uh, you'll see it. Because uh, Lord knows I film enough across the street. But yeah, they've, I see it now that that man made. They're getting a new front door. So I'll miss their old front door because it added tons of character to the house. But they will probably like this new one because of the privacy. Because that, there's nobody going to be looking through that door. Because the other door, you could walk right up and kind of see in so this will give them a lot more privacy you can tell they need privacy because this is what i'm doing we're getting ready to go to andrew and christina's but i want to show you this first we're going to give this to them because um it was a free friday and we don't want it and andrew loves these things so we'll give that to andrew but this i want to show you this i'm giving it to christina um it is a reusable grocery bag and i wish i could i'll lay it out so you can see it and i i had taken a pic this picture of gavin standing in front of the window uh standing at the window and that's christina's initials c-e-d christina elizabeth dunn and then i looked all over for a quote that i liked because you can put anything you it doesn't matter i could have written anything right there but I found this quote and I really liked it. And so they put it on this bag and it was free. The offer came in because I, I collect Kellogg's points. So because I collect Kellogg's points, they said uh, you can get this free bag. Well, really, we all know it's not free because you have to pay for shipping. So 
I was willing to do it. Uh, you don't know what shipping's going to be until the very end. So after you've gone to all the trouble to, um, if shipping's really, really um, a deal breaker for you, then you probably won't want to take advantage of the free offers. Um, because it was, uh, uh, you don't find out the shipping till the very end. You go, you do, you spend all the time to upload the pic, find the picture, upload the picture, uh, find whatever you want to put on there, the quote. Uh, I picked the color of the bag, which is, this is blue. Uh, it probably looks black on camera. Uh, but they had like green and pink and yellow. And I mean, they probably had all kinds of colors, but I picked the blue. Now you had to pick the white on the front, but the blue is on the back. But, um, Anyway, the shipping ended up being eight forty nine. Now you know it did not cost them eight dollars and forty nine cents to mail that to me, but to me, was the gift itself worth eight dollars and forty nine cents? A personal gift with a picture on it that she will keep forever. Yes, to me it was worth it. You know, it has her initials on it and everything. It was well worth $8.49. So anyway, we're getting ready to go over to their house. Um, we gave them, um, with their Christmas gift, we gave them a date night, which included um, a Chicago pizza gift card and a movie gift card. Well, they, because they're smart, they decided, oh, we'll do the pizza one night. And we'll do the movie at, at another time. So they got two two nights. Instead of one date night, they got two times. So, are you ready to go? So, we are going over to their house to watch... Um, you can turn the light out. <clears throat> to watch Gavin while they go to the movie. So they're going to go. We just saw the Avengers. You saw where we saw the Avengers the other day. They're going to go see it today. So... Um, so you will get to, to see the little man. Gavin's like, look at him, look at him. Yeah, <laughs> look at his hair. Look at <laughs> Hi. Kevin, he's done, Kevin. Hi. Can you say hi? Have you missed me? Did you miss Papa? I think your hair's gotten longer in a few days. <laughs> Gavin. Gavin. Did you miss me? Thank you. Christina's cooking a roast and it smells wonderful. Ooh, she has carrots and onion in there. I wonder if she's making a video. Probably not, but that looks really, really good. Hi. Okay, we just turned on this Thomas movie for Gavin. He picked it, and it said George Carlin was the narrator. I did not know that George Carlin narrated Thomas and Kevin Kevin knew. He doesn't narrate him now. Well, because he's, <laughs> he's dead. Because he's dead. But he cusses like a sailor. I can't believe he's the narrator of Thomas the Tank Engine, a kid's t show. It's just hard to believe they picked George Carlin. That's just hilarious to me. But Gavin picked this. You like Thomas, Gavin? Hey, you like Thomas? Gavin. Thomas hurried along the line. Now I can hear it. Just ahead was the good So they gave Christina this cake on her last day of work, and Gavin was hungry. So I got him a little piece, and he seems to be enjoying it. Is it good, Gavin? You like it? Oh yeah, eat it. you eat it. Yes. You're a big boy. I'm very
Gavin, what are you doing? Okay, here it goes. Huh? Are you supposed to get in the toy box? Huh? Are you supposed to get in there? Does this look familiar? Rolling around in the floor with blankets. <laughs> so it's not just Guido's blanket, it's his own blanket. This is Anna and Christina's cat. And I'm sure you've seen the video of Gavin. Uh, I think it says baby uses cat as a pillow. That would be this cat. She is very, very, very friendly. Uh, she's a really good cat. Very fluffy. <laughs> We have discovered that Gavin likes Spongebob, and I don't know if Andrew's ever watched Spongebob with him before, but I'm going to show you the songs getting ready to come on in a minute, and I'll show you. He, he really enjoys it a lot, so hopefully Andrew starts watching it with him. This is what we want Chapel to do. Be a lap cat. Look at that big old paw. Yeah, big paw. Yes. Yes, you're a good girl. This is a tree next door to Andrew and Christina. I don't even know how this would have happened, but uh, it's terrible. They'll have to come over here and probably cut the whole thing down because it looks bad. I don't. I don't think that can be saved. It's gonna have a tendency. I'd say that yeah, that it's gonna have to come down. Mama. What are you doing? So it's, it's been a couple weeks since we've checked on Christina's plants and they're actually oh, growing. I didn't think that they would grow um, from the little seeds that she had, but they are. They're, they're doing well. Kevin, did you see Christina's tomato plants? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one pot, we only showed one pot. She didn't even want me to show the other pot because she didn't think they would grow and they're both growing. Okay, we're back home now. We've eaten dinner, but I wanted to show you the house across the street, the door, uh, because when they were putting the door in, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. Uh, of course, it's none of my business anyway, but I really do like it. It looks really nice. Um, we wondered what they're going to do with their old doors, and I see that they're, they're uh, I can point. No, I can, there we go. There we go. There's my finger. They're sitting right up there behind that post, that behind the pillar. Um, so they might sell them or something, which would be smart. Uh, but that looks really, really good. And I actually don't miss the glass at all like I thought I would. They did a really good job. I like it. I like all the detail on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. It's not just just they didn't just stick it in there they really did a good job so that's impressive so anyway i just wanted to show you before i uh signed off for the night